Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth, and today I want to talk about the Schwercraft Machine Compressor by Tegler Audio. It's got four tubes and six transformers. It's equipped with motorized pots that are controllable by a plug-in from your DAW, and the unit connects by Ethernet cable, so that allows you for instant recallability. It's also got a full LCD VU meter, which is very cool. The controls are input, threshold, attack, release, sidechain filter, mix, output, and a mode switch, offering 11 different compression styles. Let's move over to the computer and take a listen to some examples. Okay, I'm gonna give you some examples using a LA Guns track called Speed. I'm gonna demonstrate the Swearcraft machine on the bass, drum bus, and the overall stereo bus. So to start, let's check out the bass. And I have it in optical compressor mode, which is mode seven. All right, so let's take a listen without it, and then I'll engage it. Okay, so typical optical compression type of thing. Um, if you notice, I'm I got some gain reduction between one two ish, depending on you know the attack of it. But I'm also having 300 hertz and below being ignored, so it's just really clamping down on those um, mid range and above. So it's really thickening the track. And if you hear it, it just it adds a little more nice body, some warmth. And um, I got parallel compression going on, so it's not 100% on there, but it's really nice. Okay, so moving on. I got it on a drum bus now, and I've selected this preset under mode 10, which is chart analysis. I don't 100% know what that means, but you can check it out in the manual on their website. I chose it because it just, it added like this really nice punch and aggression to the track. So let's take a listen. So as you can see, it just kind of fills it in. It, it brings the, a nice snap to the transients, but it doesn't ruin the low end. Again, I got the sidechain filter happening here. It's telling the compressor to ignore low end up to the setting that I set. Again, I have the mix knob dialed back. Okay, so now let's move on to the stereo bus. I got it in mode nine, which is classical Verimu, which it, it's just that nice Verimu sound that just you know, it's known for gluing the track together. And this definitely did that. So again, got the sidechain filter going. I got a little bit of parallel compression happening. So I'm gonna start it from the top. Okay, so you've heard some examples and I'm sure you wanna know what I think of the unit. And as with everything, there's both positives and negatives. Let's start with the negatives. Setting up the ethernet connection isn't exactly plug and play. It takes a little bit of configuration and you might have to contact the manufacturer for a little help. 
but once you get it running, it works great. The next thing that personally I don't think is fantastic is the motorized pots. Although it looks amazing and it's very impressive, functionality, it doesn't really serve much purpose. For example, I saved a couple different presets and if I wanna quickly AB different compression settings on say like a drum bus or stereo bus, whatever, it takes a few seconds for those pots to actually move into place. So it's not a complete deal breaker, but to me, I just, you know, I'd rather have it be instantaneous so I can hear the AB comparisons to get the full recallability functionality that, you know, it, it's up to you. It's, it's not really a deal breaker. The unit sounds fantastic. So let's move on to the positives. The unit comes in an amazing coffin case. That's, that's a keepsake. It's like, you never want to get rid of it. It's very cool. The faceplate looks extremely amazing. It's blue. It's got this textured feel. The LCD view meters are awesome. You never have to calibrate them. And um, you can see it from, you know, pretty good distance away. And the icing on the cake is really the 11 different compression modes. It's, it's very cool. It's, it's a super versatile unit. You can park it in a rack in the back of the room. And because it's got DAW controllability, you don't even have to look at it. You can just take a look at the plugin. And every time you open the session, save your preset, it'll always open up. It's been amazing. I used it recently on a record I mixed and you know, every song had a different setting, whatever. It just opened up with the session. Can't ask for anything better than that. Those are my thoughts on the Tegler Audio Schwercraft machine. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful and I'll check you guys out next time.